Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome to Vedantu's Jay channel, guys. How are you all? I'm sure that many of you must be about to appear for your board examination, and a handful of you must also be preparing for the JE examination which is happening in the month of April. Yes, yes, yes. That means what? You must have appeared for your board examination previously. But nevertheless, all of us are still looking forward to appear for that examination in the month of April. Yes or no? Well, guys, I'm back with a very important discussion for all of you. And that is, as you can see, is about the important topics for JE main. Yes or no, guys? Yes, I'm sure. Once those of you who are appearing for board examination, when your board examination will be over, which will be roughly by towards the end of the month of March, that is the time when you will not be left with a lot of days to think about the entire course of physics, chemistry and math. So you would want to know what are those topics which I must prepare as well as revise. So I am going to tell you all that the topics that you should be looking forward to do the revision as well as have a look at the previous year questions is what I'm going to discuss in this particular session. Okay, guys, so let's go forward and let me tell you how things are going to be in this particular video. Well, before that, for all of you who are here for the first time, this is me, your Suri, sir, if you are watching me for the first time. Well, I'm also known as Mugambo because when you're going to crack this examination of JE, Mugambo Kushoga. Yes, guys, as you can see that I'm an alumnus of IIT Bombay and I've been coaching students for various engineering and medical entrance examinations for the last 10 years. Okay, that's my uh, Instagram handle. And if you want, you can follow me there, but I don't teach physics over there. Okay, guys, for that, you have to be on Vedantu's J channel. Cool, guys, let's go forward without wasting any further time. Let me tell you how the J analysis has been for the examination which happened in the month of January. You know that January was the first round of JE examination and what I've done, I have created an analysis on the basis of all the chapters, all the questions which were there. In total, there were three days in which JE main paper one was conducted for engineering, obviously. So on 7th, 8th and 9th of January, each day two shift the paper was conducted. So all in all total six papers were conducted. Every paper for every subject had 25 questions. So if I take physics as an example, 25 multiplied by 6 had 150 questions. So the analysis is based upon a good number of questions. And that is where the crux is what I'm going to share with all of you. What are the topics? You can say the most, most important topics, most favorite topics and the most significant topics that you should be keeping in mind when you are running towards the last lap of your preparation. OK, guys, so let's go forward. Let's speak about the overall analysis of JE main, which happened in the month of January 2020. Okay, guys, cool. You can see this pie chart over here. Okay, cool. What you see here, guys, is this colorful pie chart, which includes the major five units, which we divide entire physics of 11th and 12th standard into. What are those units? Mechanics, thermodynamics. Over here, you can see it is electrodynamics, optics, and modern physics. You are very well aware about the mechanics part. It starts from uh, somewhere you can say from vectors, it goes till the fluid mechanics. Okay, in between everything is there, not Newton's laws of motion, kinematics, work power energy, momentum, center of mass, rotational motion, uh, gravitation and fluid mechanics, everything is there. Okay, guys, and not to be surprised has the maximum weightage as well. You can see that out of the 150 questions which were asked in physics papers in 7th, 8th and 9th of January, out of those 150 questions, 56 questions. That is a humongous number, by the way, from this unit. And it deserves it also because it's one of the uh, most important fundamental unit and I would say is a lengthy one as well. So that's why overall total 37.3% of the paper had mechanics questions. Okay, next. The bigger unit, if we have to speak about very easily, you can figure that out is electrodynamics. I every time say this, if you not just speaking with respect to, you know, JE 2020, with respect to any number of papers that you pick from 2020, they say from the time when I appeared for JE, that is 2005. Even if I pick all the papers from 2005 till 2020, and if I'll do this analysis, almost the trend will stay the same that the maximum number of questions have been asked from mechanics the most significant number of questions come from that and second one is your electrodynamics now what exactly is electrodynamics i'm sure you all are aware about that electrostatics capacitance current electricity 
magnetic effects of electric current, magnetism and electromagnetic wave. Yeah. In fact, more than that, AMI and AC are also part of uh, this electrodynamics unit. Okay, guys. Now, what you see here, important part. Out of those 150 questions which were there spread over six papers, 44 questions, 56, 44, you can see that it's 110 questions in itself. Yes or no? Yes, 44 plus 56, that is 60 plus 40, sorry, it's 100 number of questions which were asked in this examination. So two third of the paper was only from these two units, mechanics and electrodynamics. 44 questions from electrodynamics which has 29.3% of weightage. So guys, just close your eyes, think about the two units that you should be focusing upon if you have that much amount of time with you. The two units that you should be keeping in mind if you have limited amount of number of hours and time left with you, the two units which you should be focusing upon is mechanics and electrodynamics. But more than that, let me also tell you, the third most asked questions unit is basically your modern physics, okay? Yeah, it is. It has 20 questions or it had 20 questions which were asked in the month of January, which makes it 13.3% of the overall weightage. And after that is your thermodynamics. Yeah, thermodynamics has your kinetic theory of gases, uh, first law of thermodynamics, apart from that calorimetry, uh, thermal expansion and heat transfer. Okay, so all those chapters make the thermodynamics unit, which had 16 questions being asked in the examination in the month of January, which is around 10% of the entire weightage. And the last, but certainly not the least, is your optics, which has wave optics, ray optics, and optical instruments. Total, only 14 number of questions were asked. Okay, roughly you can say one tenth. And uh, that's why it is only 9.3%. Okay, guys, so I think that you all are clear about the overall weightage here. Do not worry, the session PDF is also available in the description of this video. So you will be able to have a look at the entire image along with the graph, with the number of questions, with the weightage which each and every unit had. Okay. Now, before I tell you what are those topics which you can say are the most significant one which you should be keeping in mind when you have limited amount of time left with you, the number of topics that you should be focusing upon, the number of chapters that you should be focusing upon. I have a very important question to ask you all. Are you all 100% prepared and confident about your J examination for the month of April? If there is a slightest of doubt still left with you, then you still have that time in which you can revise entire physics, entire chemistry, and entire mathematics for J. How is that possible? That's what I want to share with all, okay? It is basically Vedantu's micro course. As you all know that, it is basically Vedantu's J crash course. So if you want to prepare for entire physics, chemistry, maths with respect to your J preparation, you still have that possibility, guys. At the crash course, you are going to get live lectures. You can see the lectures which you miss out by replaying and recording. You will have all the tests and quizzes happening online as you know that JE is an online examination. So you will be preparing with the help of the experts of Vedantu. You'll be getting your doubts cleared and you'll be appearing for all the tests and you'll be getting the analysis of the test, letting you know what are your strong areas, what are your weak areas and how to improve on all that. So if you want to take the advantage of that guys, then Vedantu's crash course is just for you. Best part about that, how do you have to go and enroll for this course is to just follow this link, which is also available in the description. And before you go and enroll for the course, do not forget to use the coupon code that is SMCC because the benefit, the best part is the course, which is worth rupees 20,000 will come to you, will become yours only for rupees 7,599. Okay, guys. So do not hesitate if you are still in doubts with your preparation and you want to give it a hundred percent go, then you are still left with a lot of time and the correct guidance is there just for you guys. Okay. So guys, now let me tell you those significant and the most significant topics which you should be keeping in mind with respect to the analysis that I've shown you. Okay. Now, what you see on the screen guys is the most significant topics list which was created with respect of which is created with respect to the JE main 2020. And uh, if you will have a look at this guys, you can see that electrostatics and capacitance in itself 
this particular chapter of electrostatics and capacitance had 12 questions being asked out of those 150 questions in the month of January, which makes it almost the 8% of the entire paper of all the papers, including together. Okay. Next is your current electricity rotation. You know that these are very, very, very frequently asked type of chapters in an exam like J as well as in NEED though, by the way. So both these chapters had 10 questions coming, making it both of them as 6.7% of the weightage. Then comes nine questions each from center of mass collision, magnetic effects of electric current, EMI AC and uh, your atomic structure and dual nature. So you can see the spread on the entire 11th plus 12th journey. You can see that the, this one, the first one, current electricity, uh, MEEC, AMIEC and atomic structure dual nature are from 12th standard by the way. So if you are a guy who is preparing for 12th standard board examination as well, it's, a, it's basically a jackpot for you because you are any which way are studying all these chapters. You can see that apart from rotation, center of mass and collision, all the chapters are basically there for you in your board examination as well. Amazing. Yes or no guys? So just carry forward your preparation from board examination and just solve the questions, especially the questions which have come in the examination of J Main 2020. In fact, you know that if you do not know this yet, you have to just go on J, J Vedantu's channel. We have solved each and every paper live and now those recordings are available for you to see. So if you want, you can take the help of those and definitely I want you to focus on the questions which have come from these topic. Okay guys, if you want, you can take a screenshot as well right away and uh, make sure these are the topics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven number of chapters put together, which should be in the top priority for you when the limited amount, limited amount of time is left with you and you want to give your J preparation the last go. Okay. Not just that, this list continues with the topics which you can say had eight or seven questions being asked. That means next in line or you can say maybe in the month of April more number of questions could be asked from these chapters as well. Now what are those chapters? Thermal properties, calorimetry and KTG. If you remember in the analysis I told you that thermodynamics was not one of the most important topics but if you have to pick the topics which are most significant most significant with respect to the amount of time that is left with you guys then you can see that thermal property calorimetry and KTG had eight questions being asked. That means what? Again a topic from thermodynamics which you should not be leaving. Okay. Next is laws of thermodynamics which almost makes the entire thermal physics an important unit for us this year. Okay. And then what? The, the unit is optics, ray optics and optical devices. Overall optics had very less number of questions being asked but you can see that with respect to the limited time that is available with you, you should keep an eye on this chapter. Okay. Then comes your modern physics chapter that is semiconductor and devices. So these four are the first list which had eight questions, all 5.3% weightage. Then your elasticity, fluid mechanics and oscillations and wave each had seven questions being asked, making them 4.7% each of the weightage of the examination, which was held in the month of January. I hope the idea is clear with all of you guys. Okay, you can see that these are the chapters which I wanted to share with you all, especially in the phase when you will be running towards your preparations last lap is the topic list that I'm sharing with you all. You should be keeping in mind or I should say that at least from these topics, if a question comes, you should not be missing out on any of those because you are already aware that these are important chapters. Okay, guys, cool. I'm sure you have understood the point. If there is any doubt left, do write that in the comment section. I will get back to you personally. Okay. Now, before we leave, I have a source of inspiration for all of you. I'm sure you will get inspired by these guys, which I'm telling you who all are these. Well, these are the stars of Vedantu. First thing that I want to tell you is are the results of the J advance of previous year, 2019. So we had Nivedya. Chirag, Rajdeep and Sumit, all of these guys made it to IITs. You can see their ranks, uh, All India ranks 697, AIR 41, AIR 38 and in the reserve category, we had All India rank 1 as well last year and I'm sure this year as well, all of you are going to make it to IITs by getting into the best of the ranks of J8161. Okay guys, and if you speak about 
this year's JE, which happened in the month of January. The results are out for that as well. So for this year's JE main 2020, we had 117 students crossing 99 percentile or more than that. And uh, 592 students making it between 90 to 97 percentile and 490 students who had just less than 90 percentile. So a humongous number for all the Vedans. Yes or no guys? So is it going to be you in the month of April or somebody who's in 11th standard? Your face could be here guys. I'm sure you all after looking at all these guys over here are getting inspired. So guys just decide by yourself that your aim, your Lakshya is to crack J examination for J main then J advance and make it to the best of the colleges of the country. Okay guys, so on that note, I'll take your leave. If you like the video, then as I always say, LSS. Like the video, hit that like button, share this with your friends, let them also take advantage of Vedantu videos as well as if you have not done yet, subscribe to the channel. Cool guys, I'll keep on coming back with you and we'll keep on sharing all the important tips and tricks and the motivational videos with you guys. Till then, take care, keep smiling and keep enjoying physics. Bye-bye.